Emily here back at my dining room table so I can tell you all about our January break in a breakout in a box. Welcome to 2021. We made it. And I hope that we can have some fun together ring in the new year. So in your box, you should have gotten something that looks like this. This will help us get started. I'm actually going to quick tell you about the extras that are in your box on the back of your form. So you've got a door hanger. You can write your responsibilities on each and then move down from say brushing your teeth. You would move down to done or making your bed or you would move down to done when you finish that. And then you could start it back over tomorrow. So that'll be fun for you. You also have your verse cards. You can hang on your magnet on your fridge. So find your, find your verse card and put it back on your magnet. You have your God Times booklet, which is your, your devotionals for the month. And then also, just because we can, we put some games in there for you. Some magnetic games or some board, actually wooden board games, right? <laughs> for you to play and have fun at home. Okay, so those are the extra things. You won't need those for today, but you can if you want. For today, to start us off, because it's a game night. Did you notice the game pieces and the games? It's a game night. You need to start your music. So you can either put on your favorite party music or there is a Spotify playlist if you're on Spotify and it's called 252 Kids Rules for Life. It's January 2021. So you can check that out. All right, once you have your music started, you are going to make a party mix. Now, party mixes usually have a variety of like chips and crackers and cookies or whatever you have sitting around the house. For today's, you are going to use pretzels and M&Ms and raisins. So open up your pretzel bag. Open up your M&M bag, dump your M&Ms in, dump your raisins in, give it a little bit of shake. Voila, party mix. All right, friends, it is Bye Bye Video Time, and we are welcoming back MC Haggis for another month here at Breakout Kids Club. So check out MC Haggis and see what he has to say about responsibility. Hey there, I'm MC Haggis, and this year is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him a sample, Seamus. <laughs> uh, this month we're learning about responsibility. Showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Me and Seamus were both supposed to show responsibility and wash one article of clothing each. One article. Right, Seamus? Hi. <laughs> I guess you could say that we took that one part literally because we both washed this. This is the only thing we have clean. Two grown men wearing onesies. <laughs> so let's review. We were supposed to show we could be trusted with what is expected of us, right? Aye. And the person who was supposed to show responsibility and wash only one article of clothing was me, myself, and... Aye. And you can't have the word responsibility without the letter... Aye. R-E-S-P-O-N-S-B-I-L-T-Y. Find out what it means to... Aye. No. Aye! No, no, no. And you can say the same thing about you, right? Aye? Responsibility! We're not good examples of that today, but kick it anyway. You can have tranquility with your capability to get things done with civility. That's right, you can be trusted with the things that you're supposed to do, and that is responsibility. Word. 
You know, Seamus, I'm starting to think uh, these these onesies are kind of sharp, you know? Maybe we should change our names to MC Skunky and Seamus McWalrus. What do you think? Hey, kick it, Seamus McWalrus. Hi! Hi! Okay, we're ready for activity number four, and that's our family guide. So you're gonna find this little sheet of paper right here and follow along. I have created one of the spinners just to give you a quick visual. So I just do three, drew three lines. It's not perfect, but it'll work. And then I'm going to cut out one of those triangles on the top, no, I'm sorry, on the top, on the top piece. I'm just gonna cut out one triangle about the same size as the other ones. So I just see one triangle underneath, right? And then we're gonna poke our holes through our paper plates. I just did that with my pencil. And then we're going to spin the top one. So you just spin, you might have to use two people to use this. Spin the top one and see whose name it lands on. If that doesn't quite make sense, that's all right. You gotta read through this. All right, then spend some time trying to memorize the memory verse. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke chapter 16, verse 10. And maybe spend some time praying. You can use the prayer that is there or you can use your own words. In Breakout Kids Club, we say praying, it's just talking to God. So you can use your own words or you're welcome to use those. All right, spend some time with your family talking about love. Making our way through our breakout in the box. We're ready for activity number five, which is the scratch off card. You've got one per kiddo in your family. So let's watch MC Haggis as he helps us out again with responsibility and what this best widget is. Watch this. And now it's time for this month's widget with MC Haggis and Seamus McFamous. The disembodied voice is just doing what he's supposed to do. He's being responsible. Hey, let's give him a break. Hey there! I'm MC Haggis and this here is Seamus McFamous. This month we're learning about responsibility. Showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. And this month's widget is something that is sure to help us with that. Show him, Seamus. It's the rules for life scratch off card. Families can have some fun while they learn to live with responsibility. Each week they can take turns scratching with a coin to discover the rules for life followed by reading the weekly scripture passage. Then families can discuss how they can live out the rules for life as a family. At the end of the month, after they've talked over the last rule, they can treat themselves to a family dessert party. So get yours today. Oh, I've got an itch. Can it? Yeah, keep scratching. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, just a little more. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, and a rule for life. We scratched two birds with one coin. All right, I am so excited for this part. It is Bean Boozled. I've never played Bean Boozled, but I'm excited to play with my family. So you need your Bean Boozled <laughs> cartons. We gave you two because we had extras and thought you might want to just put it together and play one big game or you could play two separate games. So here's what you need to do. You have two choices. You can download the app to your phone, Bean Boozled, or you can go to their website. It is beanboozled.com. It's right there, beanboozled.com. Okay, so you have your choice on which place you go. Now, when you go, you're going to click, it'll, it'll make sense. Click on fifth edition, and then you're going to ready, you're ready to spin. And so you're going to spin to see which flavor you land on, only you won't exactly know the flavor until you taste it. There are beans that look exactly alike. One of them tastes really good. One of them 
not so good. <laughs> so keep track of all the yummy ones that you eat because the one who eats the most yummy jelly beans is your winner and you will declare your winner by giving them a medal that says winner. <laughs> all right, friends, I hope you'll take pictures or videos and share those with us of the fun time you guys have playing Bean Boozled. How was it? Did you taste any nasty ones? Any dirty socks in there? <laughs> All right, friends, you've made it to the end almost. I hope that you'll take a minute, quick minute, and send me a picture or a video of the fun that you've had with your family. Find the breakout post on the Breakout Kids Club Facebook page that says, post January breakout in a box pictures here so that we can all see the fun that you've had. Maybe you record yourself saying this month's memory verse and that will get you entered into a drawing. And of course this month is board games. And so I have an awesome family board game. No, it's not Monopoly. I know parents, it's not Monopoly. <laughs> it is an awesome fun family board game that you will win. So get yourself in that drawing by posting a picture or a video of your family or you can send it directly to me. Okay, friends, thank you so much for playing with me today. I hope to see you live on Facebook on Monday, February 1st at 7 p.m. That's when I'll do the drawing. Okay, I hope that I get to see you soon in person. Have a wonderful day.